It's Anzac Day tomorrow and it's going to be a little bit of a different one this year. Obviously with no parade and no big dawn services and all those things that really mark the day for us. I'm going to do something that I always do around Anzac Day and that's make Anzac Bickies. I love at this time of year to remember my great uncle Sid. So he was one of the rats of Tobruk and he was an enormous character. Every time he'd be coming to our house, we would know that he was nearly there because he would yell out, ho, 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 and you could hear it from streets away. And the same thing used to happen when we'd go and watch him march in the Anzac Day March. He would ho, ho, ho all the way round and the crowd would reply to him. And we'd always know when it was him coming up because of that really happy noise that would, uh, that would come ahead of him. So I have special memories of this, this day. And this is a special recipe for that reason. So Anzac Bickies are very simple. And the reason for that is that these are ingredients that were easy to come by in the war. There wasn't a lot of money and there wasn't a lot to go around. So you can imagine we've all experienced shortages on the shelves during this uh, COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, that was sort of the norm during the war. So they were often found without very many ingredients, but these things were always generally readily available. So what we've got here are some rolled oats, a cup of rolled oats, just your normal ones, not the quick oats or anything like that, just the real ordinary rolled oats, three quarters of a cup of desiccated coconut, a cup of plain flour and a cup of sugar. So you're gonna pop all that into a bowl, give it a little mix, and then we're gonna melt our butter and put in some golden syrup. A good trick when you're getting honey or golden syrup out of a container is to just grease the inside and the outside of your measuring spoon with a little bit of butter. So just with your finger, give it a little bit of butter and instead of having to stand there for ages while that honey or syrup drains off, it comes off nice and easily. And we're gonna put the butter into the pan as well because we're gonna melt these things together. Two tablespoons of golden syrup. So once that's all melted in together and bubbling away, we're going to add a half a teaspoon of baking soda and a tablespoon of boiling water. And watch this, it's like lovely chemical reaction. And while that's all frothing and fizzing, we're going to pour it into our bowl of dry ingredients and mix everything together. So once it's all nicely mixed together, we're gonna to put it onto a lined baking tray. So to line the baking tray, I've just sprayed it with cooking spray and stuck a piece of baking paper to it so that nothing sticks. We don't wanna overcrowd the tray because these will spread because of the butter in them. And you just get about something a bit bigger than a walnut, a bit smaller than a squash ball, and roll it between your two hands and pop it onto the tray and flatten it down a little bit. But make sure you leave room for them to spread. They do end up touching edges mostly, so that's okay. But if you want perfectly round ones, you're best to use lots and lots of trays and put not too many bickies on them. If you like them sort of soft and chewy, cook them for around about 20 minutes in your 160 degree fan forced oven or 180 degree not fan forced. Um, but leave them in a little bit longer if you like them to be crispy. So I've spread that mixture over three trays so they're not too close together. I'm gonna to pop them in for around about 20 minutes until they spread and you'll be able to smell that beautiful golden syrup aroma in your kitchen. Okay, these are ready to come out of the oven. They're beautiful golden brown and most importantly, I can smell that they're cooked. So let's go. Now these are actually really, really soft at the moment. If I were to try and get those off the trays now, they would all just fall to pieces. So they need to cool on these trays for a good 10 minutes or so. Just enough time for me to go and get a cup of tea. So this is me. I've got my cup of tea. I've got my big plate of bickies, which I'll try not to eat all at once. I'd like to say on Anzac Day, a big cheers to my Uncle Sid and a thanks to all who've served our country, lest we forget.